today I'm gonna bring in the neck gear Nighthawk now if you guys see this one it's a pretty powerful one we have uh, actually Wi-Fi 6 ready all right let's take a look at the AX Nighthawk now this one came out of the box like this is pretty much to give you they give you information how to set up the whole router out of with one card no other booklets in there I checked around and this is pretty much a, a what it, it's, it's involved they say you could download the application to set up this whole thing wirelessly. All right, let's start in the back first. If you guys can see, this is gonna have one, two, three, and four antennas, and you have to set this up manually, of course. Um, one thing that you have to do, it does have a power button, power supply, and this this is gonna be the WAM, the yellow one. This is where you actually connect your modem, your 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 cable provider, your your the uh, fiber provider, you pretty much set up the main line in here, right? Not from the actual cable, but they actually give you one cable to connect into this line. So that's where you will normally connect. You have one, two, and three, and four connections, all right? Uh, one supposed to be a one gig, but we're gonna take a look at it and see if this one actually has that feature. And then they give you a USB here. Now the USB is pretty unique. You can set up a printer in there. You can set up a router in there. You can set up a USB hard drive to read it out of it. Uh, a lot of functions you can do. You can put timeline, your, you know, you can put the time machine, which if you have a Mac, you wanna back up your stuff and have an external drive, you can do that through your network, all right? Now, connecting to it directly, it's gonna enable you to have faster speeds, but we're gonna take a look at the 2.4 Hertz and then the five Hertz, see what options you have. Uh, on the front of it, it's pretty unique. They give you all the buttons, everything that needs to be on, it's gonna light up in here. Um, how many connections you have? One, two, and three, and four. What tells you is it's in here? Uh, the actual USB will even light up in here. It will say it's a 3.0. This is if you have a function that needs a WPS authentication, you could click on this, it will authenticate the device. You can do that remotely. And this is like I say, if you want to turn off your Wi-Fi immediately, or you don't have anybody on, or you want to maybe get, you want to maybe discipline your child, turn off the internet, you can do that remotely here, or remotely or push up a button. Now the off and button, the off and on button, it's going to be on this side right here, very simple. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see what software is behind this. All right. So the instructions tell you you can use your phone, but here. It tells you in small little writing in here that you can log in directly to the router. So we're going to do that. We're going to have to go slash slash www. You have to say router login dot com. So that's another option. Or if you want to use a phone you can, to set up or your iOS or your iPad or anything else or your Joy, you can do that. But really with that. You could bypass this by saying, I don't have a compatible smartphone in the bottom. So we're gonna do that here, but like I said, you can have that on your phone. Uh, off the bat, they just tell you right away to jump on that. So let's go ahead and do it. I don't have a compatible system. It's okay, you could agree to the terms, agree to everything and continue on and they're gonna set you up in manually everything, all your IPs and all your setups. Now here, do you want Netgear to, uh, the Genie to help you? It's just pretty much yes. If you more advanced personnel, like, you know, you know what you're doing, I would say, hey, you could just do this on your own. You could set up your DNS, your smart information, your, your router information, all that stuff. You could set up all that. But right now, out of the box, we're just going to say yes. We want them to help us. All right, so now that it configure itself, it's asking for a couple of things. Right now, it's giving you that it's going to become an admin. You're going to have to create a password for admin. For this, we're just going to set up the password for the same thing right now. We have to go back in there. You can save your password or do all the things. I'm saying never. Uh, we're going to take a look at the password itself. It's giving us a password here for 16 characters, and it's giving us, us the actual password for the wireless device. We don't like it. We could change it. We could say... Test 2022 exclamation mark. What I want. All right. Not what you want. So, but it's an option. If you like their passwords, you can use their passwords. It's up to you. All right. So it completed. It took maybe a minute and a half. Say congratulations. These are, this is your information you're going to require to log in. This is information for your wireless device. So it did create two devices. If you guys see, one wireless was 2.4, if you see it, and it has a Netgear 84, and the other one's Netgear 84 dash 
slash uh, five hertz. So it gives you, and it has the same password for both of them. So it doesn't do the combination of, of the two of the two networks, but it gives you those options, which is good. And you can print it out here or just hit next. All right, the device actually asked me to register, kind of forced me into a lot of corners saying, hey, make sure you got this right. So we're gonna finally register and we're gonna go ahead and continue. I gotta reply within 24 hours for this, the validation of the actual password. So you download the app, all right? And we're gonna open it up and we're gonna try to set it up. So by checking this, I accept, uh, I agree. Uh, allow me to go ahead and do this by using the app. Uh, create an account, no, sign in with existing account. We're gonna sign in with the existing account. Multiple networks, I do have one. So I'm gonna set up a net for five and we're gonna set up the password that we created earlier where we should call it test and then 20. 22 uh, exclamation mark and that's the password we set up earlier we're going to say connect go ahead and connect this thing and we have ignition now we could able to set up this connect by anywhere um, let's try again now it's connecting to it and it's asking me for the admin password we're going to go ahead and set up the same password that we just set up earlier we'll say test 20 22 exclamation mark we're going to verify it and we're going to say check sign in um later we're not going to set up this anywhere so um so we're trying to set up and maybe later too so this is our actual neck gear if you guys can see it um sorry about the lighting and sorry about the device but it's because it, this is the only way I'm able to see things in here. So we go to go into the device management and we're gonna see what's connected right now. And we do have one machine that's connected. We have one phone and one computer that's connected right now. If you guys can see that, it's giving you a lot of information on the network. We could add up a profile and change it around. There's three devices in here. Let's go back, uh, remind me later. Security, we're gonna go to security, see what's available on the security. Protect your with the armor now. So it's pretty much, you could activate the trial or you could buy their information. Right now, we're not gonna activate anything off the bat. They're selling a lot of things up front, so. Uh, internet speeds, we're gonna take a look at the internet speeds. We could go to history. So let's go back. We know speeds, parental controls. Oh, I'm not gonna rate this right now. Go to parental controls. Uh, remind me later. Uh, unlock premium. No, it just you can unlock premium or you could add things in there. So right now we could let's go back into it. It doesn't give me any options in parental controls. Set a profile. Unlock premium. Let's go unlock it. Uh, set up time limitations, and it's a trial. You don't have to pay for this stuff. So we're not gonna even go into details on that part. And then Wi-Fi analytic. So this is kind of like a report system on your Wi-Fi connection, how fast it's connecting um, uh, from your device. So it's not a bad tool. Uh, Wi-Fi settings. This is where you could change passwords. You could enable different frequencies. Like for example, the 2.4 hertz, you could change the password to not match the 5 hertz. So you can do that. Smart connection, um, have enabled connecting to Wi-Fi speed. So there is a, a smart plug button that you can do that, enable that. So you can connect it without any password just by kind of authenticating on the actual device. So guest networks, we haven't set it up, but here's where you actually can set up the guest accounts. Um, this is a manual thing you have to do in here. You have to go in here and set up either passwords to have them different. You can set up the bandwidth through there. So you can go in there and set up the actual Wi-Fi guests and, and it, it doesn't give you the full bandwidth, but I'm, I'm sure that you can control that too in there. Traffic meter, we're gonna enable it for now. And it takes a couple days, maybe hours to analyze some of the stuff and start tracking what's what kind of traffic we're getting in here. And that's pretty much it. I mean, overall, you could get alerts too and then it take you home too. Overall, you see your router, your whole system on, on one phone frequency. Um, personally, I don't like it like this. I actually like everything on the web where I can control things better. 
I keep all my sense. If I lose my phone, then I will lose my connectivity and this could be somebody's, um, if somebody logs in, they could have access to this too. But that's why you're supposed to set up your dual authentication. It's necessary if you ever lose your phone. Um, I don't like some of the features that they're trying to sell up front instead of you. It should be automatically embedded in the system instead of you trying to chase to set up. Like the presidential controls, I'm not liking that you have to purchase a certain package in there. Uh, I like it off the off the router to be installed in there. I'm purchasing something that will help has to help me out easy to control devices for my kids and stuff like that. But here they're trying to sell this stuff. I mean, it's up to you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at the device. <clears throat> Some of the features that the device has a little unique, but they're something to get used to. Uh, off I I do not really like off the that you have to have internet. What about if you're setting up prior to internet? It's a little difficult if people are not phone savvy or don't understand some of the devices or some of the settings. And this is going to enable it's not meant for those people because you're actually clicking on things that you're not going to understand. Like it's asking you to buy, for example, parental controls. This is something that. You have to unlock. If you want to unlock, you have to either pay, no credit card information install, or start your free trial. And on top of that, they're going to set up their settings, their prudential control. So it might even block some things that might not be necessary to be blocked on. So that's something I didn't like about the device itself right now because it has a lot of features that they're selling you on top of just the router. An expensive route to begin with, and they're selling other stuff in, in inside the system itself. So a lot of these features haven't been unlocked, and they're not going to be unlocked because there's a lot of things that I, I I don't agree with the system coming out of the box that it should be that you need a phone to even re review the, the the reports. Um, I try to actually go on the web and try to make the changes, and it didn't give me anything positive in there. Um, the device itself looks nice and neat, but the features behind it is what kind of like pushed me away from it. So that's my advice. 